it's Chris with the Rockabilly Cousin channel. And guess what? I'm back from the hiatus. So first card going up is this O2 Dodge Durango. So let me bring you on closer and I'll show you what's going on. First off, I need to do this shit. So we got here, it's a 4.6 liter Dodge, uh, not Dakota, Durango, even though it was built off the Dakota platform. And we got two things wrong with it. One, number seven injector circuits open. I've replaced the plug, replaced the injector, everything, couldn't find it. My buddy said, hey, we'll, do, we'll check it out for you. They own a shop, they put on a lift and everything and i couldn't find a broke wire nowhere but the computer would not talk to my ecu so they said we're 98 percent sure that the ecu is what's bad so i got one of those also the little idle air control valve right there is messed up too so i got to replace that too but some people say you think it's your idle air control valve cause it no because we've had this issue for about a lot longer than the idle air control valve the idle air control valve just went out while the injector circuit 7 open which is p0207 it's been going on for a few months so there you go now let's get over here and i have this let's see so let's cut it open So here we go. This is a new ECU that came from, let me see, I'll make sure I say this right. Computer, car computer exchange. So yes, got this on sale from $449. Had it marked down to $249 or $49. We had $20 to ship it. And then I told them my VIN number and they programmed it for me. I had to tell them my VIN number and my engine size and they programmed it for me and then sent it out. So, looks good. I don't know, it might be remanufactured though it's been painted, you could tell. Yeah, you can tell this thing's been repainted. But it comes with a lifetime warranty. It's been updated with um, all new features, like has a quicker throttle, throttle response. The fuel mileage should be better over and on i should see an improvement on this durango with this little 4.6 so if this doesn't fix it we're gonna yank the damn motor out and put another motor in it say so screw it or just sell the damn thing we're kind of done with it after this point but the good thing is they said hey if this doesn't fix it um send it back and we'll refund the money so did that oh what's this oh uh, this is the uh um that's the label i need to send back because you do got to send back your core so let's see all right include prepaid do not package to type over oh this is telling me how i need to send it okay microwaves effect check alternator yeah i know this is all good okay let's see I, Chris, have done the following check on the car track and prior to in the competitive. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's all good. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's see. I'm just reading this to see. So hang on. Be right back. Here we go. Here's the instructions. Do not have the key in the ignition. Disconnect the negative battery first and then the positive. Uh, leave... I need to let this uh, rest for 30 minutes, so. Go ahead and start taking this off. Is this gonna twist? No. There we go, I think that's good enough. Yeah, it should turn.
there we go that's disconnected so while that is disconnected i'm going to change the outer air control valve and then i'm going to start taking this apart it should be close to 30 minutes right there Yeah, this one's poked out all the way it's not going down this one's the new one so plugs look the same yeah it all looks the same so just want to set that seat back down there it'll push down the fur there as i put this in let's go ahead and hook this thing back in let's go rest just right there grab the first bolt We'll start it with a finger. You always want to start a bolt if you can with your finger because especially smaller ones you can cross thread them real easy if you put any torque to them and that thing's in sideways. Yeah you could easily torque this thing especially being a star pattern a torque bolt that just means it they'll twist so much easier off if they bind up and you'll wring them out someone already probably changes auto air control if we have one time because this one right here it's boogered up so it'll still hook but yeah someone boogered this up one little bit right there that should work now let's get this other one this uh end the tool it'll come out the tor the torques will come out really easy it's on being careful there we go all right now last let's just plug out of control valve in there we go So this one, throw it away. Yep. All right, now we need to take this all apart. Pull that off. This is my um, cruise control, and I can fix it there. I need to redo it, make it look better. And then, trust me, I haven't done nothing to this except for replace the AC compressor. Now the ECU and I put a new um, these things uh, coil packs I put all new coil packs in this thing and I put a new injector in it and that's all I've done to this thing so this is completely whoever did it last where we got this truck from did that so I want to change this whole setup here I want to put a put an actual intake system on this thing and go from there so but now let's take that ecu off and this ecu off power's unhooked you just pull these pins they're going to come out and then let's see let's see if i can get this off with a normal screwdriver yep all right first one's out Get these other two out. I'm gonna leave them right here and make sure they don't roll off because they fly here, they're lost. And these are unique bolts. So it'd be kind of a pain to fit, find these. Okay, there. All right, let's pull this out and take a gander that one versus this one. Bolts are, 
they'll bolt in okay that's correct I hope so flip it the other side so yeah ECU is different but supposedly it's made to fit the our Durango let's hook it in and just see okay so now we have that in batteries are disconnected so we'll wait a full 30 minutes install and then plug those in plug the battery back in and then we'll see if it fixes that damn thing and if this thing reads so yeah and then if it does have chickens light we're going to take it down to all the rallies and just see what their code reader is going to say because i need a code reader i got ran got ran over so the screen's cracked in it and you can't read nothing on it so i need to buy another one so everybody while we wait for this thing to take its time um i'm gonna kind of tell you a little bit about this next year coming up so let me flip the camera around and I'm going to show you the little Maverick and then we'll go from the cars. So we got the little Maverick right here. And y'all, and I got some of y'all wondering, like, what happened? Why did I stop posting and etc.? Well, I did take a break from this car. And I've been really focusing on the reptile room. I'll show you the reptile room real fast. So here we go. I've been working on this room and yeah I've repainted it sealed it I built this rack um, I'm be getting the enclosures here the I've got two red tails I've got some fish some turtles in there got a red tech got a ball python got two western diamond bags I got a timber rattler in there that's a cane break style I've got uh, two leopard geckos a prairie rat snake a desert iguana we got this tank to finish we got a texas rat in here and this tank is going to be for a green insularis which is a green white lip tree viper but that's what i've been doing if you if y'all want to check out this whole room and kind of keep tabs on this one go to reptiles and oddities over on instagram you can go to youtube now it just has like three videos on it but i'll be getting up there soon and yeah i'll be you'll see this whole room transformation and into more of a reptile room that is if y'all like reptiles so yeah it's that one also there'll be a link in the description below to um so you can click that and go straight over to there but uh yeah so i've had some incidents um with pay causing me to fall behind so we've just been crawling out the hole but we're back on top now so i'm able to buy new parts get parts and get this build on the road again so um the next video y'all see i'm gonna be putting the spindles on and getting the ball joint set and everything all of that and then we'll go through and put a fuel line in the car do the carburetor get it running get it timed in get the exhaust on and i'll get the wheels on get the coilovers and the interior and that try to get this car done by springtime if it's done by spring or sooner walk out here to the 240 y'all know i have a 92 or 91 needs on 240 so pull this one in and get this one all done i have most of the parts here i'm just minusing some parts so that'll be done and hopefully i have this one done by the end of summer then we're going to pull the s10 in the s10 i am got the ls and i'm getting a turbo 350 go behind it so pull this one in fix it up paint it all etc and then get this one done then after that i got a car i'll be driving into the yard hopefully and I've talked about it and Sonny all might know 
what it is but it's been i don't know i don't want to give up too much of the ones i don't know but i'll have something from the 80s i'm going to drive up so yeah then i'm going to be working on the impala there is the next car i'm going to buy i'm not going to really work on it here i'm going to do a little bit here but i'll work on that car after i get this impala done so i have a 350 i have a rebuilt kit for it i got the three speed transmission i'm in this i got the rear end and the drive shaft so just build the 350 and put it in the car i got to replace the floor and this whole back half i'm thinking about cutting the panel off and just patch it up but get that crease out right there and do that but have this in the garage around christmas time next year that's what i'm going to do and there we go now the only way i'm going to be able to get any of these cars done really is i'm sitting at 470 subscribers guys i need y'all support okay i'm sorry i took a hiatus and i haven't been really active on the channel but there's a legit reason on that and etc so yes but with y'all support and the only thing i'm asking is subscribe to the channel and like my videos put a thumbs up on the stuff hit that notification bell and come back and see these things because it might be, trust me my videos are going to get better i am coming up with ideas to do with these cars and they're going to be lit okay so yeah um so yeah i can't believe i got an impala man i still can't believe i got it, even though it looks like a wreck uh real car guys will actually look at this thing and see what the potential can be so yeah but uh and that 240 is going to be an anime look but that one's going to be hot rod red metallic with candy black over it do like a murder paint on it and this one if we can get it running right then we're going to do some work to this thing too make it more off-roadish so yeah also i got these right here you want to see me fix these up for my three kids this one is jude jude is two years old this one is scarlet she's four and a half my oldest and my newest one little Coraline delilah around she just passed a month so she's doing perfect that's gonna be hers so i'm gonna fix them all up we're gonna get lights and they're going to like underglow lights and i'm gonna up the battery up to like 18 volts or like the lithium ion conversion kit so yeah I got a lot of stuff I'm gonna be doing around here, guys. Okay, guys, well, here we go. We're going down to O'Reilly's. Now, I do have a check engine light right there, but also my fuel light is on. And that's because we haven't put fuel in this thing and I am running on fumes. But I got enough to get down here to O'Reilly's and get back into a gas station if uh, I can get this fixed. But yeah, it's still revving up high, but it sounds like it's just revved up high. It doesn't sound like it's missing. And you can tell that it drives easier. Shifts a lot easier. Yeah, throttles a lot easier. So let's hopefully this is not the if this is a different code like say auto air control valve still or something like that okay cool that can be fixed I'll, that'd be great it's just as long as the uh p0207 which is number seven injector circuits open as long as that doesn't pop up this is a win okay that is the main thing we've been worried about about this damn durango the entire time it's been setting so yeah and i tell you the truth it's been about a year since i've been trying to find this i just didn't want to buy an ecu without knowing hey it's the ecu and hopefully that's not what i just did but if so at least i can send it back i got 30 days to do that and it came in today so yeah all right also what do you think with the blue gauges look nice don't they but yeah, I do know it's revving up high because it should not be at no 1500 RPM. It should not go up to two, 3000 RPM and idle back down. 
We'll see what happens when I park it, put it in park, and go there. Uh, we'll see if it goes up. But yeah. Oh, yay. Yeah, let's see. What well, didn't jump up? It's staying about the same in idle or in neutral. So it's interesting. Maybe I just need to tune it back a little bit. I do have a check engine light and I do want to check that out and see what's going on with it. And if I can get through here. All right, I'm going. Oh, yeah. Come on, dude. Trying to tell him to come on. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. <laughs> All right. Good old O'Reilly's. Just like a vice grip garage says, trust O'Reilly's. Anybody knows how to get a hold of vice grip garage? Tell them I said hi. Okay, guys. Well, found out some interesting shit here. Let me get back to the house and I'll tell y'all. Okay, guys. Well, we took it down to O'Reilly's and the guys down there were really cool. And they, um, this, the dude named Zach, he is a real cool guy. And he let me borrow the tools and he let me borrow a compression tester because mine I used to have kind of walked off. I let a buddy borrow it and never saw it again. So I just don't have it. So yeah, now, well, you'll kind of get where I'm going with this. We did a compression test on the cylinder seven and it is dead as a hammer, okay? So yeah, so it looks like we're gonna pull the head off of it and we're gonna play, replace a valve in it. And I might go ahead and just, I'm gonna go ahead and buy me another compression tester. I'm gonna check all of them and just see if, um, um, they're all dead before I buy just one valve or for one ba bank and yeah we'll put valves in the damn thing and go from there this gets annoying so one thing after another and with this damn dodge but I'm still optimistic about it but hey okay but we got to sit here and think yeah I spent $249 come out to 268 for an ECU do I send that back and get keep my old one? I'm gonna say no. The reason being is because um no itchy. <laughs> While I was driving the car, it was getting so much better on throttle response, okay? And the throttle response was good. And it's claiming that they got better fuel mileage in it. So better than what original was because it's updated. And there's a bunch of other things to it too. So overall and all, I can tell there's a better performance. It's better firing and etc. So I'm going to say clearly, that's a win. So yeah, I'm going to keep the, keep the ECU and send ours back, the old one and do it that way. Now, uh, but I am gonna buy a valve for it. I'm gonna do the compression test uh, this weekend. Go ahead and buy one from probably Harbor Freight and then um, and then see about getting valves and then a head gasket. And I think we have the reusable valve cover gaskets. I'll probably just order a set also, but yeah get the gaskets and that shit and then I'm gonna to have to hopefully figure out if I can get it the little timing chain I can get that back in tension so cuz that's gonna come apart cuz it's dual overhead cam setup so yeah and do that and all now we gotta sit there and think did the engine get hot no we never cooked the engine or anything like that okay when you check the plug the plug was rich extremely rich okay that does lean towards an open valve, but also it says P0207, injector seven circuits open. 
and everybody I talked to said, your injector is flooding out, it's flooding the cylinders, making you run rich. So, there we go. Now, the compression tester literally said there, there's no compression. It didn't even move. It's completely dead. So, it's dumping fuel in there, but it's not combusting because there's no compression. No fire happening. So, there you go. That is probably what's going on with this thing. But, yeah. So, I'm keeping the... the uh, Keeping the ECU, and but we're gonna put valves in it and go from there, okay? So, yeah, we'll see about that. So the Durango's coming back. So if y'all wanna see that, hey, make sure y'all let me know. Uh, I'm giving it to y'all to tell me if y'all, cause I'm not too big on fuel injected engines like this Durango and that, the Cadillac, okay? But if y'all want me to tape what I'm doing to those, go ahead and let me know in the comments below if y'all want to see that because i'm on the fence yeah i'm going to record for my uh, my classic cars like my nissan my impala the maverick and the s10 and the new one that's going to be coming in here next year and i'm going to film for those because that's where this channel is really at but again let me know if y'all want to see the newer stuff like the Durango and the Cadillac if y'all want me to see because I got quite a bit of work I'm doing to those too so okay guys I'm gonna get out of here uh, make sure you all keep an eye out for the next video that's gonna come out because that's coming out pretty soon um, after this one so I'm gonna get back in the rhythm and start posting again and get these cars done we gotta get that Durango running we should have two vehicles get the map running three vehicles get the 240 running four vehicles Get the S10 running. We got five vehicles running in this yard. Then I get the other one that's going to be running. There's six vehicles right there. The Impala is the only one that's not running. Drivetrain's under that table. It's just right off the camera pin. So, yep. That LS right there is for the S10. That four banger is for the, the Nissan. And the Nissan's transmission is over underneath this bench over here. And all the parts are in the car and etc. So. I've got things that are going to start happening around this shop. So, guys, make sure y'all tune in. Make sure you subscribe. And, yeah. Okay, guys. Well, y'all have a good one. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye.